Hello, and welcome back to the Cove with more Surviving Mars. Okay, so we've had a bit of a rough episode uh, on the last one. We have lost a, a fair few colonists. Yep, and it seems that this is still the case. That is not good. Um, yeah, so we have a couple of things to sort out. And a, a little bit died. is going to take some time just for our logistics to run around and do what it needs to do. Alright, you know what? I don't know why the shuttle is such a high priority at the moment. We really need to get some of these buildings fixed. Uh, we also have a bunch of vacancies and some unemployed. So I think we should sort that out now. At the moment, that's... No, not over capacity. We have enough room, so those homeless people will find a space in the near time. Um, but I did notice that this building here has a bunch of unemployed. So I was thinking it would be good if we placed them into either the metals extractor or the fusion reactor. So to do that, uh, we need to get some more people working over here. Because we currently have some vacant work spots. So I'm thinking if we say opened up a handful more jobs here we go we may potentially oh the diner you know what I could have sworn we have changed that a few times okay that hopefully now some more people will start working in the field um hmm well we currently do have enough food. So now that we're on to the fruit trees, uh, we can probably get rid of those cover crops. And then, yes, corn. Corn is the other one that we want. Okay. And hopefully that will balance more people back into there. If not, we will... Yeah, we'll see if that fixes our issue. So we have 11 people. There's certainly not 11 jobs that are going to be taken from there. Yeah, they're all engineers. Yeah, okay, so th there's definitely no one moving from there. And then over here. No specializations. Maybe we also turn on the metals extractor again. We should have enough power. Yeah, okay. So there's a lot of people who would prefer to work there. Alright, well either way, we will sort that out. Hopefully we can avoid more of the death spiral. Oh, did we check the... Did we check the medical? Yes, we did. Okay, so that is... That is being worked on. Okay, that's important. So we should probably do the same here. That's fully involved. You know what? With the electronics factory, we can probably go ahead. Uh, these are on the regular crops. This one is... Oh, that's right. This was our emergency farm that we created. So we might leave this on here so we have a little bit of food harvesting every, every, um, on a bit more of a frequent basis. Yeah, so it's got, what is it, just less than a day until it's produced? Yeah. And that way that will give us a little bit more constant supply while we're waiting for these harvest times of these other crops until we build back up a more healthy amount of food okay and then that's open security station yeah we definitely want to open that up uh, we did have that message about renegades yeah and from here yeah all right well we'll do that uh how are we going for unemployed? We still have a few people. 
Oh, they're down there as well. Okay. So we have three jobs. Uh, that got taken, so that should be two more. Can we open one extra job somewhere? Yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and open up these. I know we're kind of, uh, in a great position for electronics, which is good. Yeah, okay. Between all of that, that should sort out our jobless issue. However, the over here... Has died. Oh, dear. We have some very unhappy people. Okay. Uh, what can we do? We need... Maybe we need some gardening? Uh, amphitheater is good. Grocer is good. Yeah, we need... We need some more... Happiness. So... Decorations. Let's go for a small garden. No? Relaxation, some play. Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's put that down and hopefully... That will sort out that issue. We'll also get those polymers running. Our battery is still discharging. But when they get through with uh, producing, it'll be an extra four. A colonist has died. Yep, okay, so we do have enough. Okay. We are having a long run of really... That's not good. Um... How many residents do we have here? 36. Okay, so some of these jobs should be taken up. Ah. Oh, it's because I made this a maximum priority, which I didn't need to do. Okay. That was not a good call. I can't believe that I accidentally did that. Uh, hmm. Colonist has died. Yeah. All right. This is this is definitely my fault. I should not have done this. Um. Also, too, we need more fuel for this as well. So you know what? Let's go ahead and make a storage depot for fuel, and we will tell them just put in desired amount of thirty. Yeah, if we have excess, we have excess. Um, but it does mean we can actually launch this shuttle again because, of course, there's no fuel in this area. Right, well, you know, one pro problem at a time. Oh boy. Oh dear. Also, we need to make sure that we have that pipe valve turned back on. We have... Well, we have leaks here, but we can't... Okay, definitely not what we want to do. Uh, turn that off. Do we stop concrete production for now? Yeah, I think we do. We need to make sure everything is... Yeah, okay, so we're definitely in the positive now. Okay. That was our issue. We need to put in another drone hub up here so we can provide maintenance across here. Yeah, that would certainly solve that issue. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think we can actually make drone hubs. I feel like we are... Yep, we do need that in the research tech. Alright, well... Just one thing after the next, isn't it? Alright, we'll get rid of you. I guess this is why these are such a uh, fundamental call. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say it's more important than that. That'll only take us, yeah, 17 hours. Alright, well, no one ever said this game was easy. Um, yeah, definitely, uh, there are earth -sick colonists. Not the best call I've ever made. Alright, you know what? Uh, we do have a little bit of fuel and all lying around. In fact, we have a remarkable amount. 
maybe we should try and get rid of some of our problems while we're restabilizing. So by problems, I mean people, and we send them off to do uh, that. Yeah, seven engineers, seven of anything. Resources. Oh, we can we can always do with more resources, right? Let's uh send the expedition. Why not? 12 hours, maybe we get something good. Um, but at the very least, we don't have to worry about seven extra people being affected by the morale of all of our um, dying individuals. Our cable fault is not losing any power right now. We have plenty of water, so that won't be an issue. Power is charging. Yeah, okay. We will... We will make it through this, even if it's very rough. Now, we certainly do have enough uh, polymers now. We could turn that back on. Uh, how are our drones feeling in this little area? Medium amount of load? Yep, okay, well... Anomaly analyzed. Oh, planetary anomaly, 37 polymers. Very nice. You know what? I think we can go to a point where we turn this back on. We won't make it the highest pri- we'll make it a low priority. Make sure that everything else gets done first. And then, yeah, that should- that should solve our issues. Um, medic. Research complete. Yep, yeah, alright, well there's the drone hub. That's good. Now we can go ahead and Too far from Drone Commander? Yeah, that's fine. We will... We will be able to manage that. The question is, where do we want to place? Maybe something like... Something like that. Now, we do have the wonderful breakthrough tech where they do not require maintenance nor power. So, that is... That is helpful. Now was that? No, it wasn't in range. Okay, um, hmm. Actually, where is that drone? Oh, that's right, we sent the drone commander all the way up here. Can we try to... You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Now uh, we should probably try and deal with that sphere. And in the meantime, we can do the very fun job of micromanaging this. So we need eight electronics and nine and a half metals. So if we told you guys, work on that construction. Okay. Okay, so we can do things like that. Alright, that is that is good to know that we can command simple things like that. I probably should have learned that early on. But uh alas, here we are. Alright, do that too. Uh how is our have we still got outsourcing? No we don't. Alright, well let's go ahead and outsource some more. We have the money to spare. Definitely want to be making progress, right? I think we also... How's our water consumption? We are breaking even. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and get the transport one done as soon as possible. That should hopefully help with our logistics a little bit as we can at least use him during dust storms. Uh, what else do we need? Storage, but that requires power. We can make drone assembly. That could be useful in the future. Passenger rockets are not really what we're after. 
Actually, we probably need some more happiness. Decorations have increased service comfort. Uh, bonus work performance. Again, that's good. Yeah, you know what? I think we... I think we actually might need to... Do we do the... Yeah, I think we move rejuvenation up. And then we also... Yeah, we need, we need to deal with a little bit of our happiness issues. We have many unhappy colonists. So uh, that is an issue. Okay, hang on a second. Definitive contact with an extraterrestrial being for the first time in the history of mankind. Oh, okay. Uh, mission control was struck speechless as the half-excavated sphere finished the job itself and unburrowed fully on its own, then began moving, levitating with the aid of some propulsion method unknown to us. Around it, temperatures fell drastically, creating a cold area that moved around with it. Mission Control is scrambling to predict where it's headed and if its cold zone is a byproduct of its propulsion method, or more likely, its function. These are exciting times, scary but exciting. It's moving. Okay, well, we should watch that. Uh, and Our another one as well. Penetrate the outer layer of the sphere were unsuccessful, though oh. they did yield some interesting results. Um. So apparently this was first, the trusty, the trusty screwdriver. Our attempts to penetrate the outer layer of this sphere were unsuccessful, although they did yield some interesting results. Whatever lies within the sphere is pretty capable of harnessing any energy projected at it. Furthermore, the energy used by our instrument seems to have further, furthered its power up process. Okay, so between that, I think we just made that come alive. And I don't know what to do with that. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, let's get that drone and send it. Uh, let's send it here. Um, yeah, just to help out those drones if they need to charge or whatnot. Oh, so we can actually follow that. Okay. Cool. Uh, ready to land? Oh, it is landing. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's not too bad. But you know what? Given the fact that it says that it's got a super cold area, I am now beginning to wonder whether we need to make sure that we have the subsurface heaters. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. It seems to be absorbing any sort of electrical current in close proximity. In other words, it's feeding on our batteries. Oh, well, we aren't sure if the sphere has any set destination. It's hovering towards. We have enough evidence to say that a new process has been initiated by the sphere. For what purpose, we cannot know as for now. So it's beginning to drain our batteries even quicker. Yikes. Okay, uh... Hopefully it charges... And, uh, leaves us alone. We have enough stored power, so that should be enough to last us. Ooh, the better portion of a day. Um. Well, these things aren't... They're not consuming more power. Oh, no, it is. It is consuming more power. Okay. So, the heaters probably would have been useful okay um let's go ahead and get that yeah let's uh boop, boop, boop that up to the top and uh see if we have enough well you know what i'm actually not too concerned we do have this so we're making crazy tons of power a little bit of excess drain isn't going to kill us. Yeah, we have stored power for 15 hours, but yet we're not actually able to drain our power because we still have an excess. We might actually be okay. 
Yeah, you know, I assuming this mirror sphere isn't of ill intent, we will be okay. Oh. Okay, Research so it just traveled complete. to one area. Um buddy. Alright, well we've got the subsurface heating, that's that's nice. Oh, is that coming to this one? Oh dear. Uh ha. Huh. Uh I don't know if we're gonna have the power over here. We might have a bit of a disaster on our hands. We simply don't have the power. Um Hmm. What to do, what to do. Alright, well that's turned off, that's good. Uh there's You know what? Uh there are a couple of drones here. We need to tell you to repair that. And then you can Hmm. Don't have any metal nearby to repair. That's unfortunate. Alright, well we'll get to that. We do have water, so that's something. Uh good grief. Where is this floaty ball going? It's 53% of the way complete, so that's That's at least something, right? Um Yeah, I don't trust this thing at all. And we have another rocket that's ready to launch. You know what? Well, let's get our rocket back up and underway. So, you know what? Let's go to an expedition and let's go for... Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's just send off some more people and get extra resources. It's not really a priority, but we've got nothing else to do with our fuel. And if some people aren't around for unfortunate events... Uh, yeah, they may hopefully survive. Alright, now what's going on here? I thought I told you, my little friend. Alright, if I tell you to... Hearing nothing, going to ask your commander. Hm. Well, you know what, let's go and tell you to, uh... Travel over here. Oh, orphaned drones. Why are they orphaned? Oh, the... The big... Um... All probably sucked up their power. Is that what they did? Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's go down here and... Yeah, let's rescue him. Yeah, there you are. There's that big beach, the big uh, disco ball of death. You know, we'll tell them to uh, repair that drone. All right, this we've got another message for the sphere. Bad vibrations. The humming's less than subtle now. Okay. With the added bonus that it's clearly harming any colonists that come too close. It hurts our people. While it does not seem to be lethal in any moderate doses, any colonist subject to the sphere's influence shows signs of deteriorating health and needs a solid few days at the infirmary. Our researchers have several theories on what this phenomenon is, and should we prioritize it, it may be able to come up with a way to protect our citizens from the harmful influence of any such spheres. Sphere protection research available. Yeah, alright, uh, let's go right ahead and... I guess I was somewhat right into sending our people off to space. Oh, you know what? Three and a half thousand? That's actually well and truly acceptable. Let's get you there. That should take us, what? Not even a day. Okay. That's, it's not good, but it could be worse. So, uh, I'm okay with that. Alright, now we do have that. Uh, how is our drone commander? Should I say, where is our drone commander? Alright, you, my little friend. Uh, where is the other. Did we rescue the other. 
Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, let's uh, rescue that other one. No, 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 no. We want you to transfer power. Yep. There are Earthsick colonists. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there definitely are Earthsick colonists. Oh, uh, Sphere's sitting up over here. Yeah, again, the good thing is it's on the same power grid, so it's not too concerning. I wonder whether we should have put up a, um, a heater. Where are they? They are under, probably under life support, I would assume. No. Actually, let's quickly pause and check. Not under power, obviously. Infrastructure. Recharge stations, shuttle clubs. Oh, su subsurface heaters. Okay. So, it protects from nearby cold waves. You know what? Maybe it would be good to future-proof our issues. I don't think we're going to really be too bothered on this map about uh, subsurface or like uh, freezings or whatever you want to call them but you know what it's probably better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them and there they are again and where can we place you actually you fit rather snugly in a fairly good location right there so we'll do that as well. Uh, should have a fairly wide range. Yeah, so we're definitely consuming more power. The yep, plus hundred percent. So that's doubles the output necessary. But again, we are a okay. Hopefully that gets out of here quickly. How much longer? An hour until we get that research. Good, good, good. Right, come on. Research complete. What does that do? It just... It just makes our people more... Yeah, it just makes them able to survive that. Okay, that's good. Uh, you know what? Let's go and tag on... Residential buildings for... Comfort. It does feel good. Uh, decorations increase comfort. You know what? Let's go for the corner scan work performance. Actually, no, that's probably not worth it if our people are still uh, suffering from the blues. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go for the comfort. We'll add that onto the list. And I think we'll make that after the moisture farming. Yep. Right. So hopefully that will get us through. And you know what? Uh, the episode's actually going on. Yeah, we don't want to spend too much longer. Uh, if there's any more problems, we want to sort them out. So you know what? I think we'll save that for the next one and we'll call it here. So thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out. <laughs>